the violations of international human rights have been caused because of irresponsibility. Honolulu and Halava, as, as relevant as anywhere in the world, water is sacred and precious. <laughs> All of the people standing before you are angry at the U.S. government because there has been evidence of U.S. military and Navy contaminating the water supply of Oahu and Honolulu with petroleum byproducts. Meaning that much of Honolulu's water supply is undrinkable and may cause negative side effects. Because of that, I want to get on the ground and speak to the people of Hawaii about why this issue is so important. I also want to raise awareness because the U.S. government is minimizing the issue and the larger American population has no idea what is going on here in the state of Hawaii. Yeah, um, so my name is Dr. Kamara Michaelani Beamer and served eight years in the State Water Resource Management Commission. Um, and let's see, I'm a professor at the University of Hawaii Manoa. Um, so we, we want to call for the decommissioning of the tanks, the emptying of the tanks. We can't stand and, and allow um, this present and clear danger and threat to the lives and future of our islands to continue. Um, the Navy hasn't been transparent um, in this process. They haven't told us the truth. <clears throat> and, and it's time for action. Aloha mai kako, o Elijah Kalaka kui hewa mikshi and koui noa piha o uh, Oahu kakui hewa mai au. I come from this island of Oahu. Uh, this is an issue that is important for all of us to engage with. Um, the main reason why at the foundation of human life and all of the resources on this planet is water. If we do not have vai, we are done. And so this is not only just um, a Hawaii issue, this is a human issue. The lack of action of our elected leaders to adequately address the issue of protecting our precious water source begs the question, who are they working for? Because they are not working for us. This past seven years, they have been serving corporate interests and U.S. imperialistic interests at the expense of people's lives. That's making us sick. Let me say that again because it's ridiculous. The U.S. Navy says it's not the fuel in their tanks, but the fuel in our water that's making us sick, and I give no about their lyrical gymnastics. There is no rewriting themselves out of fault. I want to ask them, how will I feed my daughter if all we have is jet fuel falling from the faucet? It's is this really as far as we can dream? Oh. What do you think of the water crisis issue? Uh, uh, sure likes that flag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a uh, video right now to raise awareness and I was wondering if I could get your take on um, the water pollution crisis and sort of what that performance just was that we saw. Sure. I mean, first of all, I mean, 
we like we know that I cannot uh, guarantee my children clean air to breathe and clean water to drink. But now this emergency has um, brought this 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 chant to life, right? I hear Kabayakan it was. Uh, was a chant that talks about where are the waters of Kani, the, 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 the sacred forms that bring us, the sacred form of water that brings us life, right? It's in the east, it's in the west, right? It's underneath our islands, it says. Yeah. We know that even though the, the, our northern island of Lehua, even though that it doesn't have a mountain and, and rivers and streams, they, we know that on the mole, the bottom of it, that there's water, right? And so, we are reminding this place and these and our people where the waters are supposed to be but it's also a scary thing because as we recognize where all of our sources of fresh water is we also realize that all of those things are going to be contaminated our mountains are going to be contaminated our underground water sources are going to be contaminated the oceans are going to be contaminated and so forth yeah it was so emotional for us that that, that chant it's, yeah. it's a chant that we do in season, um, often during this Lono Ikomakahiki season, the Hawaiian New Year, right? It's the time for a lot of rain and water to be coming into our land. Yeah. Right? And um, we originally put motions to that so that the people um, could that were following would be able to remember that chant more easily. It's a kind yeah. of a long chant and I never knew that one day we would have to do it for a cause such as this. Definitely. Very relevant. Yeah. And so. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Mahalo. Yeah, mahalo. Yeah. 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 Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It was such a pleasure to make and to bring awareness about this issue on the island of Oahu. If you want to know more about different ways you can help as an individual, please click the links below. Along with that, it would help me out so much if you could subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you.